In this video, I'm going to show you how to absolutely torch the Blitz in Madden 22. What's going on, guys? My name's Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I'm so excited to bring this video to you guys because I've been really labbing this route hard, and I think you're going to have an absolute field day with the defense with this. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to uh, hit that subscribe button. We do videos every single day. We do about eight videos a day. We also stream uh, a couple times a week. So make sure to subscribe, turn on those notifications, that way you know whenever a new video goes out. And also, if you want to get my full gun bunch offensive guide, I think this is the best offense probably ever in Madden history this year. It is so incredibly lethal. I would encourage you to get it. There's a link in the description. All you gotta do is click that link. It'll take you to the website and you can get the guide for just 15 bucks. Super affordable early in the year. And I would encourage you to pick that up. All right, guys, so we are uh, going to break down an incredible, incredible route. Um, and this is – people don't really understand um, this year's game. This year's game is not last year's game. So what I mean by that is routes work a little bit differently. Um, when you throw the route works a little bit differently. And we're going to show you what that looks like um, in this video. So we're going over the play mesh post. And this play is so good. Um, now, what most people like to do is this setup right here. This is what you see. Or you'll see something like this. Um, those are two things that you're going to see quite a bit out of this play. I actually I do run those setups, but this is not my main way to run this play. Okay? And the reason why is what they'll do is they'll, they'll basically wait, and then they'll pass lead it inside. That's right there the reason why I don't do that. As you can see, he's able to swap me and uh, make my life miserable. So that being said, um, that being said, I want to go over my preferred way to run this. And this is absolutely incredible against the, against the blitz. So uh, first things first, I just want to come out in a mic blitz three and I'm going to put hard flats on the field. So as you see here, I have hard flats. I don't have zone drops because we're in practice mode. This is pretty much the way that people run this defense, right? They're going to pinch their linebackers. They're going to contain, pass, commit the whole nine yards. And this is the defense that you're going to see pretty much all season long. It's, it's a good defense, but it's not the best defense. I think 3 3 5 out is better. Anyways, that being said, all we are going to do uh, with this play is we're going to snap it. We're not going to make any adjustments whatsoever. We're literally just going to call hike. And what you're going to see is whenever the flats this year, whenever there's a drag on the field, the flat will react to the drag. It won't just jump to the flat. It will actually react to the drag. So all we're going to do is we're going to snap the ball. We, if we were reading this linebacker, if that linebacker blitzes off the edge, we're throwing the flat route with an outside pass lead, bullet pass. If that linebacker does not blitz, then we have, we have to look and kind of read things. Okay. So that being said, he blitzes, pass lead left. And as you see right there, we're beating the blitz we're just killing it and let me show you an instant replay what you're going to see on this this locomotion of throwing this flat route this year is much better than it's been in years past so take a look at this you see that right there see this see this hesitation that's a hard flat see him hesitating he's never going to get out here ever 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 going to get out there so let me show you it again so we can kind of build off of this concept so i'm going to shade coverage down and take a look at this. So now I'm going to wait just maybe a little bit longer. Pass lead left. And you see he's never getting out there. It's an automatic five yards. And if you break a tackle, this is this is potential like huge play territory. Snap, throw, cut outside. And as you see, you're getting five yards every single time. Okay. Now, let's go over, um, let's go over that one more time. And we're going to do something a little different here. So now what we're going to do is we're actually going to bring the hard flat down just like so and i just want you to see the hard flat always goes inside always goes inside and if you make that defender miss which is not hard to do this year you're gonna get a house call um it's i've gotten so many touchdowns off this um it's such a simple thing but it's so effective guys it's it really is this year hard flats don't play hard flats and you can easily just get it out there and if, like I said, if you just keep him, you keep his momentum going, it's a touchdown. Now, what you could also do, this is more for this, if you're getting a specific, I don't like it for the whole play, but if you know it's going to be a zone blitz, if you put him on a regular wheel, he'll get a little flatter and you'll see here, he'll get out a little bit more, kind of get you upfield a little bit more. But anyways, that's zone. Man coverage is absolutely even better. It's, it's so much better against man. Um, but what you see here is if they run man coverage, that linebacker blitzes off the edge, just pass lead left, 
And what you'll see is if you, it, it doesn't always happen. Some of it depends on where they put the, put the players, but pass lead left. And you'll get this, you'll get that animation where he will basically run into the drag. That's why I like to keep the drag because if they run man coverage on me, and I just throw this out here, you'll see he gets this uh, little natural pick, little natural rub on the defender. And so it's, again, it's a easy, it's really consistent. He's never gonna intercept it. I promise you that. You'll never throw a pick. As long as you throw this ball quick enough, you'll never throw a pick. You'll get, you might get a catch tackle like that, but you'll never throw an interception. Um, the more they move him down, the actually worse it's gonna get. But anyways, let me just continue to show this one more time. See how I can just easily get outside quick so if I see that linebacker blitz, it's a no-brainer. I'm throwing the ball every single time. It's really not a question. I literally just snap, he blitzes, throw it. And that's what that right there is what happens most of the time. So what you'll see, let me show you an instant replay. And in game, I think it's even better than in um than in regs. But let me just show you this. So take a look at this. He's running this route. That right there, and and Mike Evans, it's probably because they're pressing. But see how he runs in, and he doesn't quite run into him here, but he will run into that guy and literally pick him off completely. Um, let me just show you one more time and let me not press. So let me just shade over top. And watch this drag route, just, he didn't do it there and I threw it too late. I was trying to watch that guy to, you see if you do throw it, you don't wanna throw it when he cuts up field, okay? You, you wanna wait on that. You can do that and we'll go over how to do that in a minute. But I wanna show you, first and foremost, this read right here okay and okay so they're playing it okay but the point is you can still throw the ball easily against the blitz easily so you get blitzed just throw it out here you that right there right there you saw him you saw that you saw him hit him that's what we're looking for okay now if they sh if they um for whatever reason let's say they bag let's say they get him um and the way they're gonna do that is by bringing this guy like there that's where he's going to have to be to make a play. So they bring him down. Okay. All you're going to do is low ball it on the cut. And of course I threw it just a little bit too early, but you're just going to low ball him on the cut. You got to practice this a little bit to get the hang of it, get some reps um, with some players. But I really like this because I don't have to make any adjustments. I just come out quick hike it low ball. That's what we're looking for right there. That's what we're looking for right there. So the beauty of this is it just does such a good job, guys. It's such a good route for beating the blitz. Now, we haven't even covered the right side of the field. If they run um, you know, any kind of stuff on the right, remember we, we know how good the tight end flat routes are this year. Like we know, we know already that if they run hard flats, you see it doesn't really matter. That tight end can still you can still complete it. Obviously, he didn't go for a lot of yards, you can still complete it. Okay. But again, now let's show you seam flats. If they're not playing hard flats, which a lot of times they won't, a lot of people like to play 10 yards, um, you're just gonna like, I mean, this is just like layups. These are just layups right here. Easy read, easy read. And what I love about this play is it's so consistent and it's so um, effective and it's, very, it's just layups. It's just easy, dot, 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 every single time. So that being said, let's go over uh, cover to man now. Obviously now, so what happens if the linebacker mans up on this guy? Well, I, you'll see here, I can easily low ball it against that linebacker. Just like I showed you, I could low ball it um, against the safety. Now, the one thing I did want to show also on this is if I do snap throw this, he'll do that. He won't typically pick it, but he will swat it. So, you know, kind of be aware of that. The next thing I want to show is what if they put that linebacker in a hard flat? And that's the one I really want to hit on. So they're playing Mabel to the left. Snap, watch the flat. See how he gets sucked in? See that right there? That's the key, that's the key coaching point. Why this is important is because you are going to absolutely force your opponent to have to play man coverage on your running back, which is going to open everything else up from your gun bunch offense. So let me show you what happens here. Flat gets sucked in every single time. That's a hard flat. Pass committed and everything. That's a hard flat. And remember the locomotion. So let me show you what's gonna happen here. So again, I'm just gonna go hard flat, boom, boom, easy. I'm pass committing, I pass committed about 15 times, right? It's pass committed. Watch this flat route to Bernard, snap, throw it. And you see, look at that. That could be a one play score. You make that guy miss, it's a one play touchdown every single time. 
huge, huge tip in my opinion, because they have to make a very specific adjustment to stop it. And that specific adjustment is they have to play man coverage on the running back, which doesn't stop it. It does not stop this route. Because watch, low ball, five yards, next play. So what this now does by very nature of doing that is it opens up your second setup. And your second setup for this is what you're gonna use when they start running man coverage. And then what are they gonna do with this guy? What are they gonna do with him? They're probably gonna put him in a hard flat, right? They're probably gonna put him in a hard flat. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put square on a smart routed out route, not a five yard out route, a smart routed out route. And then we're gonna put R1 on a hitch or we could do the slant. If we wanna do the slant, we can do the slant, that's fine. Just motion him over, watch the square receiver, pass lead left, and it's an absolute dime. Every, see how these plays work off one another. And that's what we teach you in the guide. We teach you so much about this. So if they man this back up, if that's gonna be their move and they're gonna play hard flats, as long as you bring someone, and you don't even have to bring someone over there. It's still going to get open without it. But this is where I really like this setup. Because now the hard flag gets sucked in. Just pass lead that to the left. And look at that. You got an absolute laser. There's so much you can do off of this concept. But this is just kind of the tip of the iceberg. I didn't even go over the fact that they have to use her the right side. If they don't use her the right side, you will. it's like shooting fish in the barrel with this post. This post is so open. It's so open this year. Um, if you wanted to, you could do a streak to R1 and you could double drag with tight end. Um, that's another option. You know, you want to have a little bit more vertical threat, you can, and it's going to clear open this post. Um, that will keep their user on the bunch side. And then, you know, if their users, are, if they're having a user on the bunch side and the other side, I mean, they just can't stop this play. It's so open. So um, that being said, guys, I don't have time to go too far into depth on this. We go a lot more in detail on the ebook, but this play is absolutely insane. So if you want to get my full bunch offensive guide, I'm going to put a link to it in the description below. It teaches you how to bomb every single coverage, but also teaches you how to do stuff like this where we're just peppering and, and just shooting fish in the barrel, easy layups, um, easy dots against any defense. So if you want to learn my entire gun bunch offensive guide, there's a link in the description of this video. You click that link, it'll take you over to my website and you'll be able to pick up that guide for just 15 bucks. So again, that link is in the description. So just click that and it'll get you all squared away.